happy Sunday, guys. It has been a whirlwind of a weekend. I had the wonderful pleasure of getting to celebrate with a good friend at her wedding and reception on Saturday. Uh, so today I am just home with my husband and seven month old baby Kyle, relaxing, recuperating from all the good times that we had this weekend. So I just wanted to take this time to sit down with you guys to chat and to share with you my top 10 baby products that I use on a regular basis. Okay, so first I'm going to share with you guys these baby shoulder straps for the car seat. Now, I had these on the car seat when we were at the hospital getting ready to bring Kyle home. And as my nurse was putting them, putting him in his car seat, she ripped these off and told me, you can't have these on here because they're not part of the original product of the car seat. If you were to, God forbid, get in a wreck and the car seat was damaged, you would not be able to take advantage of the warranty because it's not originally from that car seat. And so I listened to her and I left them off and I said, no, these absolutely cannot go on the car seat. But as Kyle got bigger, uh, the shoulder straps started to become uncomfortable for him and it just was, it looked like it was just closing in on him and I didn't like that and I thought you know I am his mother I'm going to do my absolute best to make sure that he is safe and healthy as he grows up and I think that it would be better if I just put these back on so that it makes it uh, less uncomfortable for him when he's in the car seat uh, so I did and it it really does make a difference I mean he doesn't look uncomfortable actually he looks cozy because he's got these right up next to his, his little face and you know his face doesn't wobble so much when he's in there and um, it provides cushion and it makes the the shoulder strap not so um, uncomfortable on him so I put them on and that's that I I like them and I I won't get rid of them until it just doesn't seem like he needs them anymore Okay, so as far as baby wash products, I have chosen to use Aveeno. And after the research that I did before I had Kyle, I found that Aveeno is um, in their products. They are tear-free, phthalate-free, if I'm saying that correct, and paraben-free. And there are a lot of lotions and washes that they make that are also unscented if you need that for your baby. Um, so the two washes that I use that I have liked the best are just the regular wash and shampoo and then they have a soothing relief creamy wash and I will actually get these out and show you the difference because they have a difference in consistency and the regular wash will actually get really sudsy a lot goes a long way um, but as far as the creamy wash, it it doesn't really get as sudsy. So the creamy one is the white on the left, and then the regular is the one that's running down my hand. I mean, you can see the difference in consistency. So I guess it really just depends on what you prefer to use. If you like to have a really sudsy bath for your baby, then you'd probably want the regular wash and shampoo. Um, but if you prefer something to be a little bit more gentle and less sudsy, then you probably would like the uh, Soothing Relief Creamy Wash. They're both great in my opinion. Uh, I also use the uh, same brand for his lotion. I just have the regular daily moisturizer. This I think is also unscented. It's well, it's yes, this one is fragrance free. It says it here on the front. Um, so it's, this one's fragrance free. I think there's others that um, I think they have like a lavender and vanilla lotion that um, lavender is supposed to be soothing and healing um, for maybe a, a fussy baby and or a baby that's having a hard time going to sleep. They also have eczema therapy moisturizing cream that I've used just a little bit of 
and this really does go a long way too. This was $12 for this tube, <laughs> um, but I, I mean like it's still almost completely full. I haven't had to use a lot of it for him. Okay, so while I'm on the topic of cream and lotion, I'm going to show you the kind of diaper rash cream that I use. And even though I don't use this as often for Kyle because he doesn't get diaper rash as much as he used to, I still keep this on stock because when he gets it, it takes it away almost just within hours. It's great stuff. And that is, let me turn it around, butt paste. I had a huge tube of this when I first had Kyle and I went through it real fast. Um, and then now just this tiny little tube has um, gone a long way for me now that he's gotten better with um, his diaper rash. And the consistency of it is pretty thick um, and it's kind of a tan. I know you can't really see because I've got my window open and it's shining really bright, but it's thick and it's tan and it's, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't have any scent. Um, and I spread it on his little bottom nice and thick and put his diaper on and it's, it takes his diaper brush away really well. It, it's a really good product and I'll probably have this until he's no longer in diapers. So a product that I found that I use a lot that I didn't expect to use a lot are the baby hooded towels and a scrub sponge. The hooded towels are an amazing thing. I mean, they just fit right over your baby's head and that helps keep them warm, which is super important. I don't care how warm your house is. When you pull your baby out of the water, it's like they immediately get cold. And so being able to put this straight over Kyle's head, it comes down to about his forehead. It it helps keep him warm until I can get him dry, which I dry him pretty fast too, but these just wrap straight around your baby and they're so nice. And um, I'm, I didn't expect that I would use this kind of towel. I thought, you know, just a regular old towel would be good enough for him. No, uh, I think that hooded towels are a must have for your infant. Uh, I also use this little scrub sponge. It really is nice. Like it'll, it'll get that soap right up in their hair and it just makes it nice and sudsy for um, him and he just, I just feel like he's clean. I, you know, I've got a lot of regular washcloths and, that, and those work perfectly and I always use one while he's in the bath but I, I really like this sponge. It's great. I, I don't know. It just makes it nice and soapy and I feel like he gets really clean whenever I use this for him. So as far as bathing goes, I didn't think that I would need a tub for him. I would just use my sink and maybe put a cloth down in the bottom so that he didn't have to sit on the metal part of the sink. And that was okay. Uh, I struggled a little bit with it, especially because when he finally was able to take baths a, a week or so after he was born, I kind of cradled him in my arm and bathed him with one hand and that was okay. Um, I would use Matthew, he would kind of hold Kyle and then I'd wash him sometimes. It worked, but I kind of struggled with it and I think my mom thought, you know what, you just need to, you need something a little bit easier for you. So she ended up getting me a Fisher Price uh, bathtub and I think this is supposed to be like a, a whale or something, I don't know. Anyway, this is great because it grows with your baby. So it comes with an infant hammock so they're not laying completely in the water. Um, and it, it doesn't the water doesn't like splash up on them. So this is great for your infant However, I didn't need to use the infant insert because Kyle was too big for it by the time uh, My mom got it for me. So I just pulled that right off and took Kyle uh, into the next size or phase of the bathtub which is this seat part you can sit your baby in it and the water will come up through it and it comes up around their feet and they sit while you bathe them when they're in that stage. Whenever they're too big for that, 
you can pull this out. And then you can use the whole tub and it's got this nice soft plushy headrest for them and that this is the stage that Kyle is using now and he will be able to use this probably even after he's a year old and then here's your your drain it's nice and handy <laughs> So yeah, this is great. And then you can hang it up to dry if you want to. I always rinse it out and dry it out every single time I use it so I don't hang it up to dry. I also just don't have, I mean, I do have spaces to dry it, hang it up and dry it, but I kind of don't. So I just take the effort of washing it out and drying it myself and then I put it away into his closet when I'm done. There are a lot of different uh, bathtubs out there for babies. There's a lot of different bathing options. I know, um, I think Ellie from Ellie and Jared, uh, for her third baby, she's using a little blossom flower. And I really thought about getting one of those. Um, I really struggled a lot with knowing how I was going to bathe my baby, um, whenever he got here. And so it did take me a while until my mom eventually got this for me. And I don't know where she found this, if she found it online or if she got it in store. I'll probably link everything down below. But um, I'm really glad that she got me this because I've gotten so much use out of it. Uh, you can set it on your sink. Like it's got these grooves where it'll fit snugly on the middle part of your sink so it doesn't wobble or anything. But lately I've taken to just bathing Kyle on the floor. Like I'll just fill this with water, set it on the floor in our living room, and I'll sit down next to him and I'll bathe him. Um, I mean, it's great. It's, it's really good, and I'm super thankful that she found this and got this for me. So thank you, Mom. Okay, so what I really cannot get over are baby blankets. And this is not all I have. I probably have close to 10 different baby blankets. Some of them are mine from when I was a baby. Some of them are brand new like these and some are ones that um, ladies or grandmothers have made for us and those are very special. I like to kind of make sure that those get taken extra care of but uh, blankets like these I will lay on the floor for Kyle so that because um, he sits up on his own now and he'll play on the floor a lot more than he did um, whenever he was born. I would just use these to kind of um, wrap him up whenever he was in his car seat so that you know he would stay nice and warm or snow or rain wouldn't get on him um, but I lay these on the floor so that he's got kind of a nice plushy area to sit and play and roll around and hopefully start crawling on I do uh, lay a blanket over him at night when he's in his bassinet or his pack and play is actually what he sleeps in um, I do I do put a blanket on him. I'm not concerned about that. He doesn't ever get it up over his face. Um, and he's big enough now that if, uh, you know, he rolls over, he kind of moves his head so that he can breathe. So um, he's at a good stage for that kind of thing. And it's not, it's not a thick blanket whatsoever. So you don't have to tell me that I need to stop putting blankets on my baby while he's sleeping. <laughs> but blankets are amazing. So I think every mom should have a lot of baby blankets and there another kind of blanket and the next thing that I use on a regular basis are swaddling blankets especially when Kyle was uh, a newborn I would use these to swaddle him in now these I thought were the best kind of swaddling blankets uh, these are Carter's and they are cotton uh, they're really nice and thick so they didn't come loose or come undone when he would wiggle uh, he didn't get himself out of the wrap super easily with these. I found actually that the blankets that are, or the swaddling blankets that are thin and breathable, he could get out of those really easily. I don't know um, if maybe he's just an extra wiggly baby, but these cotton ones, they kind of grab themselves really nice. And so these were my favorite kind to swaddle him in. Now I just use these and um, these Aiden and I more breathable ones just as regular blankets for when he's taking a nap or when he's sleeping in the evening. Um, or I'll, I'll even use them kind of as burp claws, just uh, 
these things I pack in uh, my diaper bag when we're going out and I know that as the days get cooler I will definitely be using these to help uh, shield him from snow or rain or just help him keep warm while he's in the car or will um, be going out and about. So one product that I don't have yet and I found that I really don't need at the moment is a high chair. Um, I do feed Kyle pureed food and that is uh, my next product that I use uh, not on a daily basis just because I use it once for a good two week period and then I'm good to go and that is the baby bullet so I will put a picture of that here and it is an amazing product it was a gift that my brother uh, gave to me and I use it religiously to make his food uh, it's wonderful. It comes with a cookbook to show you ex the exact recipes for the exact age that your baby is. Um, and it suggests the proper foods to use the month they're, they're in. And it'll even tell you foods to avoid for their first year of life. It's a wonderful um, tool to use. It comes with a lot of different um, cups that you can store your baby's food in. And then it comes in freezer containers too. It's great. I just, I think every mom who uh, decides to make food for their baby ought to have the baby bullet because it makes the process so easy. It literally takes me maybe 15 minutes to make two to three weeks worth of baby food. It's a cheaper option and it's to me a healthier option because I know exactly what I'm putting in my baby's food just the either the fruit or vegetable um, and I know as he gets older we'll be doing meat and water or milk or formula if you're using formula um, I'm breastfeeding Kyle so I will either do water or breast milk that's all I put in his food that I feed him in the puree form and I am so happy that I'm able to uh, be comfortable giving him something like that. He has no preservatives in it, uh, no extra sugar or anything like that, and I know that Kyle is getting the best food that I can possibly give to him. So if you have not used the baby bullet or um, if you know someone who should be using the baby bullet, I really highly suggest you checking that out. So because I don't have a high chair, I use this sort of high chair seat that my mom also gave to me and this is another great product I think it's by Ingenuity yes it's by Ingenuity and this is great because it also grows with your baby like the bathing tub that I use so this will come off it just very easily pops off and gets stored inside itself isn't that wonderful I mean if you're like me and you live in a place that's kind of small you need good tricks to place things out of the way that is amazing to me I love that so this is an insert for when your baby is pretty small and just I guess kind of starting to sit up but still needs help so it's nice and plush, it's very soft, and it's very comfortable. But as your baby grows and doesn't need so much assistance or, um, you know, space to help them sit up, you can take this out and then they can sit on that. And then of course it's got the straps to help keep them safe. So. This is what I set Kyle in to feed him in. Or sometimes if I'm cooking or I'm in the living room and I want to set him down, um, but I don't want him necessarily sitting on the floor, I, I want to give him a different option than sitting on the floor. He loves to sit in this. Um, and I'll just strap him in it. I'll put this up here so that he can set his toys on it um, and play and reach everything. I'll take this outside and set it on the porch while I'm doing some yard work. I'll set him in this. I know that he's safe to sit in it. He won't crawl around or anything. And he loves it. Like it's a it's a really great option, especially if you don't have space for a high chair. Um, 
Again, I found I don't need a high chair. You can feed your baby puree food just holding them and feeding them. I mean, what's a little bit of a mess to clean up? This is a great option to have though if you want to have a place to set them but don't want or have room for a high chair. My last product that I have used pretty much every single day since Kyle was born is a baby swing. Now I first used this Graco baby swing when he was a newborn. Since he's gotten a little bit older I am now using a swing that kind of is more of a chair sitting style that um, was given to me by a good friend and I'm so thankful they gave it to me because I didn't realize I'd be using a swing this long but if Kyle gets a little fussy and I need to set him down I'll set him in the uh, chair swing and it makes him real happy like he he loves it I'll probably end up using it just until he's too heavy to put it put him in it um, but I know that a lot of moms have said that they'll try a swing and their baby doesn't seem to like it. Kyle has taken to his swing and loves it, so um, I use it on a very regular basis. So I'm gonna give you a bonus uh, product that I use every single night, and that is Kyle's Pack and Play. This Pack and Play, which I will show you a picture right here of it, was gifted to us by my mother-in-law, and it is an amazing pack and play. It came with an infant insert and then a changing station insert. I used those both um, and as Kyle has gotten bigger, I took those out and I laid him in the uh, raised insert, uh, the raised mattress part. And then as he's gotten too heavy for that, I lowered it and now he just sleeps uh, in the pack and play itself. We don't have a crib for him yet uh, just because we have chosen to have him sleep in our room in his pack and play next to our bed uh, but here in about another month or so we will be getting a crib and rearranging this room this is Kyle's room that I'm in we have this twin bed in here right now um, but as we get a crib here in the next month for him we will be moving this out and putting him in his own room so uh, like I said, all you need is a safe space for your baby to sleep and right now that's in his pack and play next to our bed and it's amazing. There's so many options for different pack and plays. Um, there's mini pack and plays just like there's mini cribs for small, uh, small spaces. So um, if you're opting to use a pack and play, I would highly suggest this one and I will have a link to it down in the description box. I will have a link for everything down in the description box if you're interested in checking these items out. So that is my list of 10 plus one baby products that I use on a regular basis. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you guys have different products that I did not list that you uh, think are must-haves for your baby, please leave them in the comments below. I would be so interested in hearing what all works great for you and your baby. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun filming this video for you. If you have suggestions for videos that you would like me to uh, do, please leave those in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.